Hey guys, so this week we are going to go over how to download and install MC Command Center for The Sims 4. So the first thing we're going to do is download MC Command Center. Now whenever you get to the page for MC Command Center, you're going to want to go to Files. And what we're going to do is we're going to download all the parts of MC Command Center just in one big zip file. And that will be MC Command Center All Modules. This is the file that we're going to download here, and this is what we're going to go over. So in your downloads folder, what you're going to want to do is extract this file here, the one that we just downloaded. After extracting the files, you're going to want to go into your Sims 4 folder. And this is typically going to be under Documents, Electronic Arts, and then Sims 4. Your Sims 4 folder, by default, should already have a Mods folder inside of it. What we're going to do is we're going to take all of these things that we extracted and we're going to dump them right into our Mods folder. The next thing we're going to do is boot up The Sims 4, and the first thing that you'll probably notice is the fact that you'll have a little pop-up saying that you have a mod, and that's MC Command Center. We'll just go ahead and say, that's okay. The next step, since it does have script mods in MC Command Center, is we're going to go to our game options, go to other, and we're going to do script mods allowed. Now for this, we're going to need to restart the game, which is pretty much what this little window is telling us. We're going to go ahead and apply changes, and we're going to restart The Sims 4. Now that we've restarted our game, you'll realize that along with MC Command Center, we also have all of these script mods that have loaded. And we're once again going to say, that's okay. One way to verify that MC Command Center has installed properly in your game is, once you boot up, go to a computer. Whenever you select the computer, you should see an option for MC Command Center. That means that it's all loaded up properly. You'll also notice that by default, whenever you click on Sims, you'll have an MC Command Center option. And there's a lot that you can do from here. If you'd like to disable this, we can do that in the MC Command Center configuration file. After booting up your game for the first time, and going into one of your save files, you'll notice that a new file is created called mcsettings.cfg. This is your MC Command Center configuration file. You can edit your mcsettings.cfg file with something as simple as Notepad++. There are a lot of options that can be changed in your configuration file. If there's ever a time when you want to know what some of these things do, going back to that original MC Command Center link has a lot of different places where you can go, figure out what all these things mean, and what you need to change in order to configure them to be exactly what you want. For example, if you wanted to know what bill amount percent means, you can look here, and it actually tells you that it increases or decreases the weekly bill amount. It also explains what you need to change the value to, to adjust it the way you'd like. You can set MC Command Center to have an autosave function, and you can also choose whether or not it shows notifications for marrying Sims, or even the menu whenever you click on Sims for MC Command Center in-game. MC Command Center is a great way to keep your game cleaned up and running smoothly. It also has a ton of neat features and some things that I haven't even checked out myself. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight as to how to get MC Command Center in your game and set up properly. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I will be back with another video next week. And as always, happy gaming and happy simming. Mm -hmm.